Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am finally back home. I am so excited, so happy to be home. I've been here for, I wanna say like two and a half hours. I just finished cleaning my bedroom because when I came home, my entire bedroom was a fucking disaster area and I cannot function with my house a fucking mess. And I did just get out of the shower, which is why my hair is obviously wet. I could not wait to get home and get into my own shower. Today's video is going to be a haul because on the way home from Watertown my husband and I stopped at the Salmon Run Mall and I did some damage at Bath and Body Works which you guys know if you've seen my Bath and Body Works Victoria's Secret collection I don't need any more things but the one thing that I always tell myself is I'm running out of a few bottles so these are gonna replace those bottles and that's exactly what happened and that is why I have so many things so but on top of that I finally made it home and I have my elf order for you guys as well alright so the first few things I have for you guys are products I picked up from Walgreens. We don't have a Walgreens here near me, so anytime I visit a city that has a Walgreens, I always make a point to go and stop in and see what they have. I saw they had this, the cream or the creme shop blending swirl precision blending sponge. I picked it up. It was only three bucks. I picked it up because I really needed to replace my beauty blender, obviously, because it's been a few months. So I figured I'd try something new and picked up this one. Rimmel had a bunch of stuff on clearance, so I picked up two of these lip one is an 820 oh so wicked which is a beautiful deep dark red color almost like a reddish brown you guys know exactly how I feel about the deeper colors, so I absolutely had to have this shade and then I also picked up a deeper red this one is the shade one of a kind and as you can see once again it's a deeper red brownish color I thought they look similar but they're actually very very different as you can see this one up top here is in the shade one of a kind and the one here on the bottom is in the shade oh so wicked we haven't gotten to the elf product yet but when I do get into the elf box I'm gonna tell you guys right now I am not going to do swatches in today's video I'm gonna show you the product itself and then in a future video I'm going to do a first impressions video with swatches as well using the elf products in a future look all right, so the first few things I picked up were three of the wallflowers. I absolutely love the wallflower scents. They're all the same scents you find in the candles. They're just these little bottles. I got the scent Brown Sugar and Fig, which this is my favorite scent of all time from the Body Works. I also picked up San Tropez Shore and Beach Cabana. So the main thing I picked up today was shower gels because the only shower gels I use come from Bath & Body Works. Like, I, I cannot use anything else. I really feel like their shower gels do a very good job of hydrating my skin, but that's just me. Some people hate their shower gels. I absolutely love them. So I decided to go a little ham on buying all these shower gels that I could. So the first scent I picked up is Gardenia and Fresh Rain. I also picked up the last two Tahiti Island Dream. Everyone asked me where I found these. I'm like, girl, I find these things. People hide them, but I find them. I also picked up brown sugar and fig. As I said, this is my favorite scent of all time from Bath & Body Works. Something about this scent makes me so incredibly happy because it's a very warm, woodsy scent. But at the same time, it does smell sweet, which I absolutely love. If you've never smelled this scent, it is one of the 90s scents. You know how they brought back a whole bunch of these scents they sold back in like the early 2000s and 90s? This is actually one of them, and that's the first time I ever smelled this scent. And ever since then, I've fallen in love with it. So this is literally my holy grail scent from Bath & Body Works. I picked up Teakwood for Nick because he absolutely loves their shower gels as well. And then I also picked up the Tutti Dolce Pink Peony Cream Shower Gel. I've never tried this line of shower gels, but a lot of people say this is very, very, very nice on your skin because the scent stays on you a lot longer than the normal ones. I don't know about that. I personally have had nothing but good luck with their regular shower gels so I don't know how this will match up to them but I'm very excited to use it and then lastly I picked up the Waikiki Beach coconut shower gel I also picked up the Oahu coconut sunset ultra shea body cream and then lastly from Beth and Body Works I of course picked up the brown sugar and fig fine fragrance mist all right so now for my elf haul I am so excited to get into this because you guys know I ordered a bunch of skincare in this haul and the reason I ordered from elf this time is because I finally caught them when they had their big site-wide sale which everything was 50% off and I was just like girl thank god finally the only time I really shop with elf online at least is when they have the sale because you get so much for so so cheap not to mention they normally are very good about including their newer items in that sale so 
that's why I love them. I guess they stopped bagging their items because this is just a box full of stuff. Let me show you. So here is a look inside the box. As you can see, we have a lot to get through, so let's get started. All right, so the first two things I picked up were two of the e.l.f. makeup remover cleansing cloths, but I picked up the two packs of them. These are normally $10, so I got two for 10 at $5 a piece. That is exactly why I absolutely adore that site-wide 50% off sale, because you find all these amazing deals on really great products. One of the first products I ever tried from e.l.f. was these wipes, and I absolutely love them so much so I had to stock up. I completely forgot that I ordered an e.l.f. blending sponge so now I have two sponges to try out for the first time. A lot of people gave this really good reviews on the website which is exactly why I picked it up. I got one of the lip exfoliators in the scent coconut and then I also picked up a couple of these I thought. Yes I did. I picked up two of the e.l.f. intense ink eyeliners in blackest black. I just ran out of my wet and wild mega liner so this came just in time. I picked up three of the aqua beauty molten liquid eyeshadows. One is in rose gold, brushed copper, and liquid gold. Swatches of these will be on my Instagram later on tonight. One of my all-time favorite elf products is the elf makeup mist and set. This stuff is literally incredible. It was one of the first makeup setting sprays I ever used and I absolutely love it. So I absolutely had to pick up another one. I also picked up the Beautifully Bare Liquid Highlighter in the shade Illuminating. It says here it's an oil-based liquid highlighter with illuminating pigments that brings light to the face for a glowing, dewy complexion enriched with antioxidant and vitamin E. So I am very excited about this illuminating highlighter. Speaking of highlighters, I indulged in the highlighting palette from e.l.f. that got rave reviews from everybody when it first launched. And then I also picked up two of their primers one is the hydrating face primer and the other is the poreless face primer both problems you guys know I have on my face so I really wanted to indulge in these and I'm very excited to try them out for the first time all right so now all I have left is all of the skincare that I purchased from the sale which I'm very excited about because elf came out with this really cool skincare line just last year I think it was and everybody went nuts for it when it first released and once again I am a frugal cheap ass person so I didn't not want to go and purchase it full price so I fully indulged in everything I wanted when they had this big site-wide sale so the first item I picked up is the elf prep and hydrate balm with purified water shea and vitamin E this clear cooling balm helps hydrate and prep skin for makeup application enriched with purified water shea and vitamin E to help nourish and moisturize great for daily use and can be used on areas such as the face hands elbow and knees for my mask nights, I picked up the e.l.f. pore refining brush and mask tool. It's self-explanatory, guys. It's just a brush used for masks. I also picked up the Aqua Beauty Aqua Primer Mist. This one's in clear. This water-based primer mist preps skin for smooth makeup application and a radiant look. Enriched with purified water, cucumber, and vitamins B and E, it leaves skin looking dewy and fresh. The most exciting thing I picked up is the e.l.f. Hydrating Bubble Mask. Now, this was a huge hit when it first released because a lot of people would put it on their face and put it on Instagram, and you would see the bubbles all over people's faces. Like, it looked so, so cool. Cool. So it says here, this hydrating and nourishing gel transforms into a bubble mask on the face. Watch as bubbles fizz and foam to remove excess dirt and cleanse pores for glowing, healthy looking skin. This is going to definitely be the mask I use for our next spa night. Just saying. And then lastly, I picked up two of the hydrating gel melt cleansers. This was one of the items that had the most stellar reviews. So this is supposed to be a direct dupe of the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm, which I have used in the past and that stuff is literally magic in a jar. And every one of the reviews that I read said that these are just as good, if not better, at removing makeup, which I don't see how it's possible because the Clinique one is already really, really good at removing makeup very quickly. The big biggest difference between the Clinique product and obviously this e.l.f. product is the price tag. These are $10 a piece, but I got them for $5 a piece, so two for 10. And the Clinique one, I'm pretty sure, is like $29, I think it is. So honestly, I mean, do you save a lot of money? No, but still, that's $10 cheaper than you would normally pay for this kind of product from Clinique. So I am very excited to do a full face and then take it off with this gel cleanser. 